Hi everyone and welcome to Cruiseful. In today's video, we'll be going over five cruise lines for beginners. If you've ever wanted to take a cruise, you've probably realized that there are a lot of different options for cruise lines, as well as all the different ships that they offer. The best option would probably be to select the cruise that fits you and your party's needs. So in no particular order, here are five cruises for first time cruisers. Carnival Cruises If you're testing out the waters in cruising, you might not want to break the bank or spend a long time out at sea. Carnival Cruises are ideal for those who are budget conscious and want a lot of options on how long to sail for. As one of the biggest cruise lines in the world, Carnival has 23 ships with two more ships expected to launch this year and in 2023. They also have ports all over the world including many in the US as well as some in Europe and Australia. With itineraries as short as 3 days or as long as 10 plus days, cruisers have many options for how long or little they'd like to sail for. Carnival also strikes the perfect balance on the size of its ships. One of their largest ships carries a little over 4,000 passengers. Unlike mega cruise ships which can carry almost double, Carnival still offers a ton of amenities without making you feel like you're living in a densely populated city. With discounts typically available all year round, as well as specials for last minute bookings, you won't have any trouble finding a cruise with Carnival that can fit your budget and needs. Norwegian Cruise Line For those looking for something for everyone, Norwegian Cruise Lines might be the pick for you. NCL is starting to become known for their floating mega resorts and have some of the biggest and most amenity filled ships. For those who want to have a lot of options with a more laid back vibe and flexibility, Norwegian hasn't retained any of the old customs that other cruise lines have such as formal nights, dress codes or dinner rotations. Going with the flow would probably be NCL's mantra as you can eat what and where you want and you have many attractions to choose from regardless of your age. From some of the largest water slides on the sea to the first ever go-kart track as well as some of the most state-of-the-art theaters, an abundance of live music venues, gaming zones, and seemingly endless options for eating, you'll never run out of things to do on Norwegian cruise lines. Regent Seven Seas Cruises Are you looking to go all out for your first cruise and not have to worry about any expenses you may incur during your trip? Then Regent Seven Seas Cruises might be the best fit for you. RSSC is one of the world's luxurious cruises and is all-inclusive. What that means is that almost all of your ship's expenses will be built into the price already including food, drinks, dining, gratuity, and offshore excursions. Unlike other cruises which may have those things as an added cost, with Regent Seven Seas you can leave your worries behind as almost everything has already been paid for upfront. With six different ships and destinations all over the world, you won't have any trouble picking a cruise for you where, for where you'd like to go. Princess Cruises Not up for the hustle and bustle that mega resort ships have to offer? Want to spend your time instead relaxing and not being bombarded with too many options? Princess Cruises will probably be more up your alley. The atmosphere at Princess Cruises is more old school sailing by creating a more warm and comfortable environment. Instead of an amusement park on water, you'll find relaxing pools, quiet lounge areas, and expansive spas to enjoy your time. You also won't have to worry too much about your expenses as well. Base price for your trip typically includes many meals and snack options as well as their different beverage packages which cater to almost everyone's different needs. Sit in your lounge chair by the pool drinking your mixed cocktail without having to worry about any extra charges. With over 100 destinations on almost all of the continents, you'll have a lot of options of where you'd want to go. Lindbald Expeditions Looking for something out of the box with your first cruise and want something more adventurous? Look no further than Lindbald Expeditions, which isn't your typical cruise line. Although they do travel to some standard cruise destinations such as the Caribbean and the US coast, you'll also find some unique and remote locations such as the Galapagos and Patagonia. 
Another different aspect of Lindwald Expedition is its partnership with National Geographic, where you not only have your standard cruise members, but you also sail with world-renowned scientists, researchers, naturalists, and educators. Because of this partnership, you'll also probably experience some unique excursions, such as visiting a mammal sanctuary for whales and dolphins, cross-country ski and snowshoe through Antarctica, explore different UNESCO World Heritage Sites, all while learning the history and experiencing the culture of the destination. Whether you're looking for a cruise as short as a week to as long as a month, with over 30 destinations and very distinct itineraries, you'll definitely find an expedition that suits your adventurous spirit. Although these are just five cruises that beginners can take, there's an abundance of other options that can fit what you're looking for, and you probably won't go wrong with whatever you decide. I hope Cruiseful was useful in helping you find your next cruise. Until next time.